Hey guys, I'm Adrian Wagberg. I'm a rising junior from Stockholm, Sweden. If I were to fill out my dream foursome, it would probably be with Henrik Stenson, Rory McIlroy, and Seve Ballesteros. And the one question that I would ask each of them, I would probably ask them the same question, which is how they manage to stay so calm in crucial moments and play at their very best. I would probably have sirloin with some sort of garlic butter, green beans, and like a potato gratin. And then for the dessert, I would definitely have like Swedish klabkaka, which is a flourless, smudgy chocolate cake. It's delicious. has to be Niklas Bjornsson, my swing teacher. I've been practicing with him ever since I started playing golf when I was six years old. There is no one who knows my swing and my tendencies better than he does. And I could probably, if I ever have an issue, sometimes I don't even have to send him a video. I can just send him a text and say that this is not going too well and he knows how to fix it. I'm very orderly. I have to keep everything in the correct spot in my bag. And if my clubs aren't in the like correct divider in my bag, it will probably tick me off a little bit more than it should. That has to be my forward. I have a Titleist 917 forward that's been in my bag. Since Titleist released the 917, I don't know how long that's been for. Five years maybe? No, four years probably. And I have no plans on uh, replacing it either. It's been my, it's been a trusty servant for me on tight tee shots and I've been able to hit it probably 270 at least off the tee most times, which is more than enough on those tight holes. And it's just been an absolute missile and going dead straight every single time I love that club. That has to be Henrik Stenson. Um, Swedish, dry humor, um, really powerful swing, and he has, he hits that three wood a mile that he has as well, so sort of like my four wood as well. So we've got a few similarities. Um, I could still, I was, I remember following um, his 2016 British Open win, and I'll watch replays of his final round when he went head to head with Phil Mickelson. And I think Phil ended up 11 shots clear of third place and he still couldn't beat Henrik. And I will still get goosebumps watching that final round. I'm big into rock and metal. So I'll probably be listening to something along the lines of Avenged Sevenfold, or Guns N' Roses, or you name it. Your own process of self-improvement becomes so much clearer in golf than in other sports, and that's what you really can fall in love with.